Hey, what's going on everybody? In Revit 2021, finally slanted walls are even easier to create than ever before. It's pretty much a one, two, three operation. So let's get into it. I'm gonna go to level one. I'm gonna go to the wall tab. And then we're just gonna draw a wall here on our screen. And let's do one more for fun. That's just a curved one, just like this. And now let's go to our 3D view. And in our 3D view, if we wanna make these tip just like the other ones, go ahead and select that wall change the properties of the wall cross section this is the new part change that to slanted when you do that it gives you an angle and then you can go and change that to whatever you want so let's just put 20 that tips it out one way if we want to tip it the other way just change that value to a negative and it'll tip it out the other way do the same thing with this wall here cross section slanted angle we'll change that let's go 15 for this one and it should tip it in and if we change negative it's going to tip it out Okay, the other thing that's kind of cool about this is that uh, these can host doors. When you go to place a door in, the door is going to stay straight up and down. So kind of like a dormer in a roof, you'll have to build that out uh, with, your, with your wall still. Um, doing that is not too bad. There's a few ways that you can go and do that. I'm going to do the wall command here in level one. And there's our door. And let's go and build out a little wall right here and over here actually we'll just do one for right now let's go back to that 3d view and here's this wall and we're going to need to just kind of edit this real fast so we could go in a section view to do that but we can just go to edit profile as well and do pick line and we can go and pick the front of this frame we can pick the top edge and we can pick the slant and then it's just a matter of deleting out the actual uh, existing wall sketch and then we can use TR to do a little uh, trim make sure that's all good and then check that off and then here's our our new wall and then we can go and align this with the align tool we can use this edge here to align that edge there and that should jump it over it's gonna freak out for a little bit but you kind of get the idea we can go and, and adjust this um, wall again if we needed to change how far it comes out so I might have to do that one more time and just do an edit profile and let's use the align tool and jump that out to the face and then I can go and throw a roof on and that's just a way you can cap off uh, the side edge of a wall as well and so it looks like I have a little bit more cleaning up to do here so we can go and just throw on a line here at the bottom as well. Kind of fast and sloppy here in this video, but the point is made on how you can go and edit the profile of a wall to then cap off for a doorway in a slanted wall as well, and you can throw a little roof on there. Okay, or you can keep it as an opening. You can always just cut an opening into a wall. So if I have a wall like this, um, if you go to wall opening, you can just go and sketch in. Uh, I think you have to click and drag so let's do that again. Click and drag, and then you have your wall opening through a slanted space. Okay, don't forget to save and subscribe if you liked the video, and I'll see you all next time.